Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna look at Stoned at the Nail Salon by Lord. This song is really easy. Yes, it's definitely easy. But throughout the whole song, we just have a finger picking stuff just going throughout. So it's not hard. It just basically follows one main finger picking pattern. And I promise within the next 10 minutes, you're gonna master this song. It's my promise. So stay tuned and see how it actually goes. We don't need any cable, it's in the stance training. We literally have two, we two have two main paths. We don't have three. We have two main paths to learn and I can just consider another part which is really small, which is not that important. So we have two main paths to learn the verse and the chorus. So let's have a look at the structure of the song. Although I'm providing tap for the whole song, so it's gonna make everything crystal clear. So we start off with the verse, then we have the chorus. Then we have the verse or chorus, and then we have a small bridge type where she kind of uh, like shouts a little bit, hums a little bit, which is actually same as the chorus, same chord progression, same finger picking pattern. And then we have the last chorus and that's the whole song. So really easy, like we had for solar part, but that was more easy, but this is having uh, a little bit more finger picking stuff and all, which makes it just a little bit more lengthy. Never mind. now we're gonna have a look at the chord shapes. The first chord is D major, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. G major, three to open, 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 three. A major, mute, open, second, 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 open. Um, what else? We have an E minor chord for the song, but I won't be showing you an E minor. I'm gonna show you a D minor, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, first. Right? But you don't have to mute the top two strings, you can just keep it open. So open, 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 second, third, first. Now, we're gonna bring this D minor chord shape two frets up. So one, two. It comes to be an E minor. You got open E, open A, open D, four on G, five on B, and this is three on E. It's a D minor, it's an E minor in the shape of a D minor. And I won't show you the other chords, not much needed. So now let's have a look at the right hand, what I'm doing, the main hand, which will be doing the finger picking stuff. I'm using my thumb to hit the root note or the bass note of the chords which will be on the E or the A or the D string, right? So E or A or D. Index for G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string, and the pinky can just rest over here, or you can just lift it up, it's kind of useless. So, have a look at the tab, we're gonna start off with the verse. So, we have our index finger on the second fret of the high E string, and our ring finger on the third fret of the B string do what i'm saying right so this is a d major chord and my pattern will be hitting the d string then the b the e and then i'm gonna plug the d and the high e string together then the b then the e then the b so we got so i got plug b so got, I'm going D, B, E, plug, D, B, E, B. So D, B, E, plug, B, E, B. Right? So this was the basic pattern. You just give yourself, pause the video, just give yourself a minute and just practice this on the single chord. Once you match this, it's actually the same for the other chord shapes too. So now we move on to this, uh, with the same fingers, we just move on to the E minor chord. So we go a little bit stretch, fifth fret on the B string, third fret on the high E string. Exact same pattern, but now instead of hitting the D string, it will be the top E string open, like the D. Right? Same. And now we're gonna move on to the G major chord. We're gonna put our middle finger on third fret of the E string, and we're gonna play E, B, I'm sorry. You're gonna play E3, open G, open B, and then plug the E3 and B open, then G open, then B open, then G open. So you really don't need anything to play this. You can just have one finger over here and that's it. So we got. And you're gonna repeat that pattern another time on the G major chord. You can even play it over here. But this is like a more easier one. So we got. Mm -hmm. 
Now this one small change when you play it for the second tap. When you play it for the second tap, the even number of times, maybe second, four, six, eight, it can be anything, but it should be uh, one plus one. I mean, it should be n plus one. Like the number has to be a uh, even number. So over there, what are you gonna do? You're gonna make a small change on the G major chord. You're gonna plug the exact same way, E, G, B, then pluck, G, B, G. And then we're gonna play pluck, G, B, G twice. Got it? You always have the top to follow, follow along. So we got one more time and the third time. So you play that pattern once and then you play plug G B G plug G B G. That's it. Now I just want to play uh, this once. Uh, first time you play it in a normal way. Second time you play. Third time again like that it just goes on. So we got that right now this was basically the verse uh, which goes for all the parts of the song all the verses of the song and now we're gonna have a look at the chorus we're gonna divide the chorus in two parts the part one starts off like this a major chord and the pattern will be basically hitting the root note of the chord with the B string and then playing the G B and G so you got hitting the root note with the B string together then G then B, then G, right? We're gonna play that four times on the A major chord. So we got, I'm playing open A and B together, second fret, G second, G second, G second. Repeat that three more times. Exact same pattern on the G major chord, only the root note will be on the top, E string third fret. Three, four. Kinda like the same pattern on the D major chord, which gonna, go one string down so we are plucking the d and the high e string together the b e b three more time and then a one more time so this is basically the part one where we got three four two three four two four And now the part two of the scores will be like this. Where we're gonna play the pattern twice on the G, twice on the D, followed by an A major chord. Where we're gonna play the pattern four times. So this was a small change we had for the chorus part two. So we're playing two times. Twice on D. And twice, four times on the A major. And this part 2 actually repeats for the bridge too. So for the bridge, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Two, three, four. And now we're gonna have a look at a small part which we have just after the second chorus. We have just a minute. What I'm doing, I'm having second fret on A and third fret on B, plug that. Then open E, open top E, open high E. Then D major chord strum one. Then G major chord strum once. D major once. And then you have third fret on the E string, third fret on the B string, plug the E and B. Then strum the A major chord to the B string. And then play second fret on A, third fret on B. Right? So we got. Sorry, I messed up. One, two, three. And guys, that's the whole song. I hope this video helps you out. I'm gonna make a ukulele lesson too for the song. So be sure to check it out if you play a ukulele. 
and let me know how was the lesson what other songs you want to learn and make sure to subscribe uh asking nowadays i don't really ask a lot but still if you subscribe it means a lot to me so that's it and bye